hey, anybody want to be vaccinated and you want to do it, do it. If you don't get vaccinated, I, f- I bet when you do catch COVID, it's going to feel like you're going to be kicked in the balls. <laughs> Girl, hit in my tummy boxes. Tell everybody how y'all doing. This is uh Dre King James back at another video, another green screen, whatever. I probably propped up my shit, and I was like, oh man, I miss having my videos look like this. I haven't did this in like a, a while, bro. Having my videos look this good. <laughs> anyway, um, man, I, I was I had a notification on my phone saying that um people in alabama the church going people in alabama are getting what was the word i'm looking for it is a is a bill that totally um is a bill set for religious organizations that exempts on a covid vaccine now when i turn to the web page the, the report on here and you see this white man look he looks like a republican <laughs> like one of them Stupid ass Republic, religious Republicans that be like, it's the way of Satan. Satan is COVID, and the COVID is the vaccine. Some shit. I understand why. Uh, you know, some people don't like the vaccine, though. But it is what it is. I mean, I got the vaccine. I was, I was kind of iffy on the vaccines too, because how the hell are you gonna create something in no less than three months or whatever <laughs> for a vaccine you know certain vaccines throughout history has been like developed for in a time frame of a year or two or more okay you're gonna make a vaccine in like out your ass and like in little time as possible you know why they did that if you just think about it the pandemic was horrible and when it locked when that lockdown hit i think the major corporations because really that's what you gotta think about it. The major corporations really run this country. It's not the president. He's just a figurehead. President is nothing but a puppet on the strain. You know what I'm saying? Anybody with influence and money truly run this country. If you really think about it, all right? Anything with anybody with wealth and influence runs shit. All right. Anyway, so when the the pandemic was in effect with the lockdown, it kind of hurt the pockets of the uh, of the top one percent because they wasn't getting their fucking money. Where you know consumerism moves the needle. Okay, so it was like we got we, we got to do something. We got to make people spend more money, whatever. So they they must have called some pharmaceutical companies or whatever hey hey can you develop a vaccine on covid do what you have to to study covid in a less time frame and then you can build a fucking vaccine so we can like you know stick the needle in these people so they be a little immune but not a whole lot <laughs> whatever sounds like i'm talking out my ass but really pay attention and don't look at things about the covid vaccines or even covid at face value you gotta think read in between the lines of what's happening all right so anyway so this fucker hold on i got um shit what the hell i'm doing okay this is it right here mississippi bill set religious exemption of covid vaccine got this on Associated Press, uh, this notification came at me through Newsbreak, the app on my iPhone. And I was like, what the hell? And I can't blame him. I mean, it's very irresponsible, you know, because they can catch COVID. And if your fucking immune system is faulty, you you won't be here. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't know, but... Okay, so uh, the Mississippi government and titles could not withhold services or refuse jobs or people who choose not to get vaccinated against COVID-19 under a bill that passed the Republican-controlled state house on Thursday. The prohibition includes state agencies, city government, uh, excuse me, county governments and schools. Uh, community colleges and universities. House Bill 1509 also says that private businesses and government entities could 
not require a COVID-19 vaccination for any employee who has sincerely held vigilance. I said vigilance. <laughs> I made up a word. Um, sincerely held religious objection. COVID-19 vaccine mandates have not been widespread in Mississippi, and the state has one of the lowest rates of vaccination against the virus in the United States. About 50% of eligible Mississippi residents have received at least two doses, according to the Mayo Clinic vaccine tracker. The national rate is 63.5%. Public health officials said COVID-19 vaccinations do not always prevent illness but effective at decreasing severe cases leading to hospitalization or death. Elvis, it's a long ass for, you know, it's not that long. But um, yeah, I, I, I will like copy and paste this article in the, in the description box below on YouTube so so you, you can read it. Um, a lot of Southerners, um, hold on. A lot of Southerners, um, <laughs> Do not like being controlled. You going to fucking take my rights and and everything and give me this fucking water in the fucking valve and inject it into me and claim it's the vaccine or there's no goddamn fucking um what the fuck they say? Um, there's no goddamn fucking um Further studies on this, so I don't know what's in the vaccine. It could be polluted piss water or whatever the fuck. Anyway, if you have doubts of the vaccine, I don't fucking judge what the fuck your goddamn um, thing is about the vaccine, but since, dude, the, the COVID vaccine is real. You know, I know some people that had it and they felt like shit. It's like, the influenza virus, you know, having a flu times 10 <laughs> based on your um, immune system. See, I, I know co-workers got that shit. They felt shitty. They, they, they was lying in bed and they couldn't even move. They couldn't even breathe, some of them. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, it attacks the lungs and it says you feel like shit. But I took the vaccine. My grandmother took the vaccine and she's 98. She took the Pfizer. I took the Pfizer. My mom and my stepdad took the Johnson and Johnson. And then my sister, she works in the hospital. She took the Moderna because that's the only variant of the vaccine that they had in the hospital she works at. But uh yeah. Yeah, she works in the hospital. She took the vaccine because she wanted to keep her job so she could make money. She <laughs> Anyway, I took the vaccine. I just I, t I said that already. The Pfizer, you know. And you know, upon taking the vaccine, I didn't really feel anything. I mean, the only thing that I felt really it was, it was bullshit was a little tingling on my arm, you know, like a slight numbness, numb, numbness. Did I say that word right? Numbness. Anyway, of my arm, and that shit like. That, that passed over by like probably three hours you know it was it, 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 it wasn't that bad you know I went to Target because it was CVS inside of a Target and I was like oh shit they got the Pfizer I, when I went there, I was late there let me tell you a story I was driving down the highway was I? no I was driving down the street or maybe I was coming home from work and I was like Fuck it. Let's make an appointment to get my vaccine because, you know, it's the responsible thing to do, you know? So I was like, I drove down to Target. No, I didn't. I was on the app on my phone. <laughs> and I did, a, uh, I was about to say assignment, but I did a, what the fuck? Were you signing for something with a time limit? What the fuck is a appointment? Fucking appointment. Signing so for a fucking appointment and, um, I was like, okay, Saturday. I'm off on Saturdays. So I could take it. And then the first time around, I was late. But um, I was like, I'm sorry I'm late. And she was like, we can still take you if you're late anyway. I'm like, oh, okay. Got the shot. Felt a little... Afterwards, I felt a little tingling. It tingles. I, I told you that for like three hours. That was bullshit. Then I was... Then I, I had to wait two weeks for the second shot. Then, like, some... 
somebody told me that the second shot was like the worst shot, but I didn't feel shit. <laughs> I didn't feel not a damn thing. I was happy. Anyway, get, get, do, do your due diligence if you want to get the back if you want to get the vaccine. If you haven't had the opportunity to get it, sis, sis, hurry up and get the vaccine. Because if you do get, I mean, it's not a cure. They didn't say that the vaccine is going to be a cure. They said that the vaccine, that if you do get COVID, the, the symptoms of COVID won't be as severe. Because you, because you got the antibodies already in the system. That's only, and, and, and that's also. Like my stepdad, he he's the only one in the whole house that had COVID. You know what I'm saying? Um, he went and got the vaccine, so, uh, but I don't think he can. I think for him, I think he is immune because he had it already. Because he he had he got the COVID uh, uh, antibodies in the system. I don't know. I think you can get it again if you had the fucking COVID. I'm not sure about being immune if you already had COVID. I don't know. I'm just talking that about. My, I don't know. Somebody told me that misinformation. I, I, I fucking like, what the fuck is this? No, I'm not listening to you. Anyway, so <laughs> that's some serious stuff. Even he said he felt like shit. He wouldn't risk that on nobody, not even his enemy. You know, I'm just like, damn, so that's evil. <laughs> this is risk that on your Anyway, so get the vaccine, do your due diligence, whatever. Do some research for yourself on the, on the research that has been out there. So you get further information from actual doctors. Um, yeah. Anyway, peace out, bitches. Hit that like button. If you like this social media, link down in the description box below. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. So you can be notified once I upload a video on YouTube, Storyfire, AIG, and TikTok sometimes. <laughs> Peace out, man. Oh, Storyfire. Did I say Storyfire already? I don't give a shit. I'll probably... Peace out!